by the students. Today, we will be learning about C operators and control structures. So it's very, very important to know about operators, whatever programming languages you are learning. So it is essential to know. So how or what are the basic understanding about operators and control structures? So we will move on to that our concept. So, uh, operators in C program. So, first of all, you have to understand uh, what are the different types of symbols we will be using in operators. So, there are uh, various operators out there. So, there are different types of operators. So, it is common and applicable for all the programming languages. So, the main focus of uh, operators is to tell the compiler to perform a certain mathematics or logical manipulation. Operators are used in programs to manipulate data and variables. So very simple, we can call it as for calculation purpose. So for computation purpose. So in C program, operators are classified into following types. One is arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, Bitwise operators, assignment, conditional, special operators. So, based on the number of operators, we have uh, we have seen different types. So, unary operators, binary, determined. So, unary op operator is nothing but we will be having uh, single operator. Operators will work on single operator. That is binary operator, operators, works on two operands. Ternary operators, operators will work on three operands. So these are the basic things uh, you need to know uh, before going to the uh, programming concepts. So this will give a very clear idea about how to use the syntax and semantics formula provided in the programming language. So coming to arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators, something but addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, models. So these are the basic operators we will be using in C program. Relational operators. So if I want to compare or if I want to use some condition, in that case I can really, I need to relate the two different conditions. Then I can go by relational operators. Less than, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, equal to, or not equal to. So for this kind of condition, I can go with the relational operators. So logical operators, and operators, or operators. So, as I said earlier, if I want to go with certain conditions, so I can um, use logical operators, two different conditions in each other, then and or or. So and is nothing but the program will allow you to want further if both the conditions true in and operator is. Whereas in or operator, either one condition should be true. So then only the compiler moves to the next step. So this is the a major difference here. Assignment operator. So we are assigning some value to the variable. So variable is nothing but that internally we are storing the value in the memory location. So through the variable, we are trying to fetch the uh, data. So operate equal to plus is equal to minus equal to or this is assignment operator, x plus is equal to y, or x is equal to x plus y. So like that also, we can define bitwise operator to shift the bit left side or right side. So for that purpose, we are using bitwise operator. So increment operator. So to increment the value, either in looping statement, most probably we'll be using uh, this kind of operators in looping statement, for loop, while loop, do while loop. To continue the iteration again and again until the condition becomes false. So it means incrementing the value in both. So this is one example I want to share with you. It's very easy to understand. It's very simple. So decrement, same, similar uh, if what we have seen in increment. So in this case, it's going to, uh, value will be decrease one by one. So, it's the opposite, opposite of increment of it. 
So this one example, very simple example I want to show. Thank you.